Well, welcome to another season of Our Backyard Garden in the South Carolina Upstate. It's February 10th, 2024, and uh, it was a nice day earlier. It got up to about 68 degrees at one point. It was sunny, and we have some rain coming in before too long, and um, it started to get kind of breezy, still in the low 60s. Um, so really, for, for the early February, it's a very, very nice day. Um, so we're going to uh, do a second season of looking at our backyard and uh, if you saw any of last year's videos they're no longer available on YouTube. Um, our original channel which was called Zet Publications was taken down for um, some questionable copyright issues but uh, that's a different different story. Um, so we're going to be on uh, Bolomatic 300 here this season and uh, so we're gonna get started. This was uh, a big iris bed, still is a big iris bed. Um, we need to do a lot of spring cleanup still, uh, get uh, uh, vegetation out from last year. We've also had kind of an overgrowth of hollies uh, in this bed, which uh, was, was what was in here before when we bought this house six years ago. We had huge holly bushes that uh, were about four, feet tall, um, highly invasive, not very pretty, didn't really do anything in terms of berries, and they were just kind of a general pain in the neck, so we cut them out. But the problem is getting them completely out from underground is very difficult, so they have a tendency to come back, and you just have to keep digging away at them. Um, so that's going to be an ongoing challenge for us, I think, for a while yet. Now, uh, this is something, if any of you watched last year, we had a vinca that grew up out of the concrete and uh, it was the, probably the healthiest and largest vinca that we had in the entire yard and eventually it died off when uh, the, the cold weather hit and it's uh, the remains of it are still there we had a lot of um, flowers down in this area um, all gone now but they will likely come back I, I think they'll reseed very nicely um, they were Cleome. I, uh, the name escaped me for just a second, but uh, this area was full of Cleome, big tall pink flowers that bloomed pretty much the entire season. Now here, this is our uh, spring garden, and uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, hyacinths like these. You can kind of see some of the buds down there, so it won't be long before we have some really nice smelling hyacinth flowers, and then uh, we have some uh, uh, other uh, spring flowers, certainly some daffodils in here, and uh, various other things. And this uh, was a really nice yellow knockout rose that we put in last spring, and it got to be pretty big, put out a lot of flowers right up until the end of the year. Somehow, some of its leaves have survived, even with the cold. We had a deer problem about a month ago, and a deer ate about half of this uh, plant. Now, it's a rose, so it should come back, but uh, it's not going to be quite as large as it was last time. Um, and we've been debating whether to cut back or not, but we'll, we'll see how it does. Um, and then, uh, as we come down here, we've got more hyacinths, a lot of hyacinths, actually. Some of them getting closer to uh, uh, blooming than others. Um, this one's been chewed on, so this is going to continue to be an issue, I can tell. Some uh, tulips over in here. We bought a lot of bulbs last fall, and uh, my wife Jenny got those in uh, back in November. And then here we have uh, digitalis. Uh, these usually will reseed and uh, come back. We'll see how well they do. Uh, it's not a guaranteed sort of thing, but we'll see. Now here we had put in a bunch of pansies. These were nearly destroyed by uh, rabbits, um, and they ate them right down to the ground. Um, the, the greenery is still there. We got these sprayed last week for um, uh, rabbit control, but not sure how well they're going to do. Um, there's no visible flowers, but I have a feeling if we give them a little bit of time, they may come back. So we'll see. 
Um, a lot of other things here that'll start to uh, bloom once we get into the spring. Butterfly bushes, um, hydrangeas, certainly lots of roses and uh, snapdragons, uh, rhododendrons, and uh, more digitalis. All kinds of stuff. We need to do a lot of spring cleanup through here. However, as it doesn't look uh, doesn't look like a spring garden right now, but uh, but it will. Um, yeah, more uh, big uh, rhododendrons, not rhododendrons, but azaleas here. This area really got hit hard by the deer. They came through here. I don't know if it was one or several. We had a number of uh, rose plants, big ones in most cases, that were just eaten down to the ground. Um, <clears throat> not sure what's going to happen with those, not sure if they're going to come back or if they're done. We also had a very large uh, knockout rose, the biggest one in our yard, uh, about six feet tall. And as you can see, they chewed these right down to almost not quite to the ground, but within a uh, small distance of the ground. And still some broken branches here. So uh, they've done a lot of damage, but roses are, are generally fairly resilient. So I'm hoping that uh, they'll come back and, and uh, get back to their former glory. Uh, still a lot of irises yet to bloom here. We'll have um, jasmine vines along the fence once when, uh, once the summer comes um, and uh, big climbing roses over in here uh, these actually need to be chopped back a little bit they're a little little too uh, little too extensive but I've been trying to get these trained up onto the uh, top of our arbor I'm hoping maybe this will be finally the year where they come across and meet over with the uh, vines from these roses, but time will tell. Uh, nice summer garden through here when the time comes. Lots of roses and just all kinds of other things. Calla lilies and uh, we'll have a lot of vinca in that area. And then, uh, over in this area, it's really uh, uh, kind of a tragic situation. We had three, uh, three big no uh, knockout roses. One uh, was white, one was red, and actually the third one wasn't a knockout rose, it was just a nice rose. It had kind of an orange or peach color, um, very, very pretty. The deer destroyed all three of them, just gone, just down to the roots, and uh, they're completely, completely gone. Um, we do have some daffodils, though. They're doing well. Uh, with various other things back in here, some irises, lots of uh, clematis along the fence and uh, then we have uh, a number of uh, vine uh, vine based flower, uh, flowers that uh, will start to leaf up probably within the next I'd say three weeks or so now ours are, are a little bit uh, behind the, the wild ones um, uh, these are wisteria. Uh, typically, the wisteria around here will bloom in the third, fourth week of March. Ours typically are blooming about three to four weeks after that. So right now, they don't look too alive, but they will come back. Now, here we had canna. Um, no signs of life here right now. We just need to get these out of here, get this cleaned up when we do our spring cleanup at some point. Um... Black-eyed Susans in here, some iris, some daylilies. Again, this is a um, kind of a midsummer garden, so it's not much going on here right now. You can see jasmine uh, along the fence, and then all kinds of roses. So once uh, once the time comes, these will start to uh, bloom. It'll be just like a sea of red in this area. With roses and, and uh, clematis. We'll finish up as we usually do over by the house and here again not much going on. 
This is really mostly a summer garden. Um, we do have uh, a couple roses that are hanging on um, and everything else is either uh, uh, annual or a few perennials in here. So we'll see how much of that comes back. Um, we have a, a couple of lilacs in this area. This is one right here. Um, we had another one that was supposed to give us blooms throughout the season it really didn't work out that way unfortunately but uh, a lot of other things to uh, keep us entertained and uh, this is a, a big climbing rose it has little tiny pink flowers that bloom throughout the season it's already getting some leaves on it so wouldn't surprise me if we started to have some flowers uh, before long uh, even a little blueberry plant down here don't know what this is going to do. Um, it's getting some buds on it, so it's definitely alive. Um, but it hasn't grown much. We've had it in there for a couple of years. hasn't hasn't been too impressive. And then we have a lot of uh, tomatoes that um, we've just allowed to go to seed because we have far more tomatoes growing than mouths to eat them. So um, we had them growing all the way back under the porch, and some hostas and other things. So yeah, it's kind of quiet right now. Uh, we're just going to keep our eyes on on uh, first the spring garden, see how that does. Um, the, between the daffodils and the hyacinths and our little crocus, a few crocus that we have here, um, I think we'll have uh, a good start to the spring and then it'll go into irises and this area will be just covered with uh, color probably in another four to six weeks. So. Anyway, that's our first episode for the year. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, it's going to start to get a lot more exciting, a lot more entertaining as we get into spring. So until next time, happy gardening.